ஹாய் ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் குட் மார்னிங் வெல்கம் டு அவர் சேனல் த வாய்ஸ் ஆஃப் நார்ஸ் டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் ஏ கண்டினியூஸ் டாபிக் ஃப்ரம் தி ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோ திஸ் இஸ் பார்ட் டு மென்டல் ஹெல்த் அண்ட் சைக்கியாட்ரிக் நர்சிங் எஃபெக்டிவ் வெரி வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் கொஷின் வி ஆல்ரெடி ஃபினிஷ்ட் பார்ட் ஒன் In part 1, we already discussed related to the mental health and psychiatric nursing FAQ plus regarding introduction of the psychiatric nursing and mental health nursing father of psychiatry and some of the medical conditions related to the psychiatric terms we already discussed in the part 1 video and also we already discussed what are the conditions will come under the psychiatric nursing and mental health nursing role of the nursing in psychiatry. conditions we already discussed today we are going to discuss from the 21st question to further question we will discuss now a small request friends don't skip the video because every question is very very important and also i am giving detail explanation regarding psychiatric nursing before the topic discussion a small request friends anybody watching first time my channel please subscribe my channel give a like and share the video to your friends and click on the bell icon for further notification please give a like and share your opinion in a comment section next move on to topic part 2 mental health and psychiatric nursing before discussion regarding questions and answers faqs we will discuss some of the psychiatric terms related to the psychiatric nursing we will discuss these all are the terms autism catatonia confusion delusion echolalia echopraxia euphoria and flights of ideas next dystonia ecstasia addiction affect amnesia apathy blocking bloating paper syndrome and hallucination illusion libido phobia these are the psychiatric terms and also some of the disorders also is there in these terms we will discuss in detail about these psychiatric terms before the faqs first word is ekatesia ekatesia as an inability to remain still ekatesia is a side effects of prolonged usage of antipsychotics and antidepressants drugs ekatesia is a movement disorder that makes it hard for you stay still it causes urge to move that you cannot control means ekatesia is a movement disorder inability to remain still means inability to movement in the body ekatesia is side effects of prolonged usage of antipsychotic and antidepressant for example ekatesia patient with ekatesia complaint restlessness and compulsion in the movements this is the ekatesia next we will see second word dystonia the word dystonia means an involuntary muscle contractions that cause repetitive or twisting the movements dystonia means involuntary muscle contraction in the body dystonia may affect one or more parts in the body and sometimes entire body also will affect dystonia means some entire body will involuntary muscle contraction will happen some of the condition the condition can be mild or severe the example for the dystonia cervical dystonia limb dystonia and laryngeal dystonia addiction addiction is a strong dependence both physiological and emotional on alcohol or some other materials here addiction means strong dependence both physical or emotional means physical and emotional and alcohol or some of the addictable materials addiction is a condition in which a person is unable to stop using substances or engaging in a behavior this is the addiction next we will see affect affect is a person emotional feeling tone affect and emotion are commonly used interchangeable affect is the patient's immediate expression of emotion mood refers to the more substantial emotional makeup of the patient's personality so here effect for example smoking tobacco can adversely affect your lungs and blood flow this is the example for the effect next we will see fifth word 
एमनेशिया एमनेशिया इज ए पैथोलॉजिकल लॉस ऑफ मेमोरी फॉरगेटिंग ए फिनोम इज विच कैन एरिया ऑफ वंस एक्सपीरियंस और रिकलेक्शन इज बिकम्स कंसिक्वेंसली इन एक्सेसिबल एमनेशिया मे बी ऑर्गोनिक emotional or mixed origin and sharply circumscribed in limits of life amnesia means nothing but memory loss in detail i will explain inability to remember events for a period of time often due to brain injury illness or the effects of drugs or alcohol so amnesia means memory loss nothing but memory loss next word apathy apathy means lack feeling interest or emotion clearly apathy is a feeling of not being interested in or anything related to the particular work or anything they will not give a interest and they have lack of feelings related to the that particular thing next word bloating paper syndrome bloating paper syndrome is the term pertaining to the staff where they can unconsciously begin to act out a feeling that a patient unable to express or experience this is the one of the test protective per psychological test in which subjects perceptions of the recorded and analyzing the using of psychological interpretation complex like algorithms are both some psychologist use this test to examine person's personality characteristics and emotional functioning this is bloating paper syndrome next we will see autism autism is a form of thinking which gratifies unfulfilled desire without record of reality objective facts are distorted in varying degree autism is a serious developmental disorder that impairs the ability to communicate and interact with others autism spectrum disorder impact nervous system and affects overall cognitive and emotional social and physiological health affected in individual this is autism in detail about next word we will see blocking blocking term means stopping the expression of a thought means blocking stopping the expressions without thoughts here i will give a example for blocking thought blocking for example thought blocking occurs when someone is talking and suddenly stops for a no clear reason this is blocking so someone will talking they will stop suddenly talking because there is no clear reason this is called as blocking next catatonia catatonia is a state characterized by muscular rigidity and immobility usually associated with schizophrenia catatonia is a behavioral syndrome marked by a inability to move normally it can be associated with schizophrenia and other mental illnesses also catatonia means this thing behavioral syndrome marked by inability to move normally next word is confusion 11th word confusion confusion means disturbed orientation in respect to time place or person sometimes accompanied by disturbances of consciousness situation in which people do not understand what is happening what they should do or who someone or something is they will not identify they will confuse this is the confusion next word echolalia echolalia is a pathological repetition by some psychotic patients of phrases or words said in their presence most most frequent in certain schizophrenia disorders echolalia means the echolalia means repetition or imitation of the sounds nothing but repetition or imitation of the sounds echolalia the echolalia patient we can see in schizophrenia conditions next word is delusion delusion is a false belief as judged by one's peers which can not be changed by a reasoning delusion is nothing but false belief delusion illusion hallucination these all things are false behavior something that is believed to be true or real but that is actually 
false and unreal this is delusion and here delusion is there 14th word the misperception of a real external sensory experience this is also one of the false behavior clearly illusion means misleading image presented as visual stimulus perception of something objectively existing in such way so cause misinterpretation of the actual nature this is illusion next word is echopraxia echopraxia is a pathological repetition by some psychiatric patient of movements made by another person their presence clearly echopraxia is an involuntary imitation or repetition of someone else actions here not words actions echopraxia means some of the imitation action the patient will do here echopraxia also called as echokinosis or echomotism also echopraxia only next word 16th word euphoria and exaggerated feelings of physical and emotional well-being not consistent with appearance stimulus or events clearly i will explain easily euphoria is a mental and emotional state which makes a person extremely happy excited and self confident here euphoria means this thing next word flight of ideas verbal skipping from one idea to another before the last one has been concluded here flight of ideas occurs when someone talks quickly and erratically jumping rapidly between the ideas and thoughts flight of ideas is not a medical condition in itself it is a symptom that may occur a part of mania psychosis and some of the neurodevelopmental condition fight of ideas next word is yaitinth hallucination hallucination is a false sensory perception in the absence of an actual external stimulus hallucination is a perception of having seen heard touched tasted or smelled something wasn't actually not there so hallucination this is hallucination the common cause of hallucination is example diagnosis is schizophrenia we can see hallucination in schizophrenia patients 19th word is libido a term used in psychoanalytic theory of sexual drive libido is which means sex drive or and desire of sex varies dramatically from a one percent to the next person easily libido refers to a person desire to engage in sexual activity this is libido next word is the last psychiatric term in this video phobia phobia means an obsessive persistent unrealistic fear of an external object or situation phobia means is a persistent excessive unrealistic fear of object or person or animal any activity related to the any situation this is one of the anxiety disorder we will see some of the phobias means some of the common phobias aerophobia agrophobia and claustrophobia mysophobia aerophobia aerophobia means fear of heights next agrophobia agrophobia means fear of open places next claustrophobia claustrophobia means fear of closed places next fourth one is mesophobia mesophobia means fear of dirt and germs fear of dirt and germs these all are the phobia some of the common phobias in psychiatric subject phobias means some of the fear unrealistic fear of the object person animal activity or situation this is the phobia till now we discussed 20 psychiatric terms and some, some of the psychiatric disorders related to the conditions now we will discuss faq frequently asked questions and very very important questions in the subject of psychiatric nursing this is part 2 we will discuss from the 21st question to 50 question 30 question we will discuss now 21st question mini mental scale is in psychiatry interview is mini mental scale in psychiatric interview is 
MMSE mini mental scale examination we will see what will come under the mini mental scale from the options option a no point cognitive test option b not related to psychiatric option c related to psychiatric interview option d 30 points cognitive test mini mental scale is a examination of the patient those who are confused patients used for the confused patient after the head injury or sudden illness such as infections these all are the cases we can do for the mini mental scale examination in the way of psychiatric interview sometimes in cases of dementia sometimes cases of dementia also we will do a mini mental scale examination a mini mental scale examination is a set of level questions that doctors and healthcare professionals commonly use to check for cognitive impairment it is an 11 question measures the test five areas of cognitive function those are orientation memory attention and recall and naming verbal repetition verbal comprehension and also spatial orientation writing reading and a sentence i am showing on the screen mental scale examination this is not many mental scale examination mental scale examination here we can see the general appearance and behavior speech mood and effect thought perception and cognition insight judgment these all are the comes under the mental scale examination this is mini mental scale examination the mini mental scale examination here we are having the columns orientation registration attention recall and language and copying these all are the mini mental scale examination chart here we can see downwards total score is 30 so here option d is there 30 points cognitive test so your option d is the correct answer the mental scale is a psychiatric interview to assess the cognitive function of the client 25 to 30 percent is considered as normal 21 to 24 marks is mild and 10 to 20 moderate below 10 is a severe impairment of the person here mini mental scale psychiatric interview he is having 30 point cognitive test option d is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 22 one of the misconception of mental illness is one of the misconception of mental illness is we will see here options option a not curable option b curable option c not hereditary option d none of the above the patient will feel misconception from the option regarding the mental illness will be i think it is not curable they will feel this is mental illness will not curable they will feel misconception this is option a is the correct answer here one of the more common misconception about mental illness is that it makes people violent and dangerous a person who has had a mental illness can never be normal fact was people with mental illness can and do recover to the resume normal activities and also some of the condition they will feel it is mental illness is not heredity some of the condition is heredity related to the mental illness is there but not hereditary is autism attention deficit hyperactivity disorder adhd and bipolar disorders major depression and schizophrenia these are the condition will come the not hereditary condition here one of the misconception related to the mental illness is option a not curable next we will move on to question number 23 the difference between neurosis and psychosis is neurosis and psychosis or different types of mental disorders we will see first neurosis neurosis is a mild mental disorder not arising from organic diseases it can occur from stress depression or anxiety this is neurosis here we are having three types of neurosis neurosis related to three types is anxiety neurosis depressive neurosis and obsessive compulsive neurosis the clinical features of neurosis is excessive wrong and guilt 
नेगेटिव इमोशंस इरेटेबिलिटी एंगर एंड लो सेल्फ स्टीम इज देयर इन न्यूरोसिस नेक्स्ट वी विल सी द साइकोसिस साइकोसिस इज ए मेजर पर्सनालिटी डिसऑर्डर कैरेक्टराइज बाय मेंटल एंड इमोशनल डिस्ट्रप्शंस साइकोसिस आल्सो वी आर हैविंग थ्री टाइप्स हेलोसिनेशन डेल्यूशन एंड डिसऑर्गेनाइज्ड थिंकिंग एंड स्पीच द साइकोसिस क्लिनिकल फीचर्स लाइक हेलोसिनेशन डेल्यूशन एंड confused behavior and disturbed thoughts here we will see the neurosis and psychosis option is severity severity means here we can see the psychosis is severe and neurosis is serious severity like psychosis is severe and neurosis is serious here we will see insight insight the ability to understand one's one motives and psychodynamics and behavior this is insight we will see here clinical features clinical features like uh, we already seen in this question excessive worry guilt emotions negative thinking and irritability anger in neurosis hallucination disturbed thoughts and delusions in in psychosis the duration option the duration of onset is neurosis and psychosis we will see first in neurosis the neurosis will stay that way throughout life irrespective of changing and circumstances psychosis is a one month or less we can see the short period of time psychosis but neurosis we can see throughout the life time irrespective of the choosing of circumstances here the differences between neurosis and psychosis is option b insight insight means ability to understand one's own motives and psychodynamics and behavior next we will move on to question number 24 symbolization is a we will see here option option a personality option b defense mechanism option c behavior option d none of the above what is symbolization we have to know first symbolization is a to handle an unwanted or stressful thoughts individual will use physical items or even symbol acts to turn into the concrete is called as symbolization the above utterance showed projection is we can see in defense mechanism for example a soldier explains his decision to join the army as defending the flag so he this is the defense mechanism for example a soldier explain his decision to join the army it is a defending the flag he want to defending the flag so here option b defense mechanism is a symbolization is a defense mechanism option b is the correct answer here but we will see options for the option personality personality refers to the enduring characteristics and behavior that compromise person in a adjustment to the life including the major traits interest and drives values self concept abilities emotional patterns these all are the comes under the personality option c behavior behavior is a manner of conducting oneself anything that the organism of does involving the actions and response to the stimulation this is the behavior here symbolization is a defense mechanism option b is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 25 alcoholic blackout is characterized by alcoholic blackout alcohol related to black outs or gaps in a person memory for events that occurred while they were intoxicated means the alcoholic blackout related to the gaps in person memory for events that occurred while they lying in the intoxicated the gaps happen when a person drinks enough alcohol to temporarily black the transfer of memories from the short term to long term storage known as memory consolidation this is called as memory consolidation in a brain called the hippocampus memory consolidation in a brain is called as hippocampus alcoholic blackout is characterized by which one is applicable we will see here we will see option a impaired remote memory impaired remote memory means memory of events that occurred in the distant past in a type of episodic memory means 
may learn new information have difficulty to recalling even from the year of past means they will learn new information have difficulty to re recall the events what they is present in their past years we will see option b events of no significant events of no significant means there is no significant related to the event they will not remember what is there in past completely this is the events of no significant next what is malingering malingering is also called as shaming illness or gold drink drinking for example avoiding works and responsibilities for example of malingering is avoiding works and responsibilities malingering is also called as illness or gold drinking next we will see option d anterograde amnesia anterograde amnesia is a condition where the ability to form a new memories and for a limited time impaired so alcoholic blackout is characterized by anterograde amnesia impaired capacity a new learning and a memory loss here amnesia means memory loss anterograde amnesia means impaired capacity of new learning so here option d is correct answer next we will move on to question number 26 the minimum duration of psychotic illness to be categorized as schizophrenia if patient is having some of the psychotic illness minimum duration of psychotic illness will be characterized as a schizophrenia we will see here options option a two months option b six months option c three years option d six years the continuous signs of the disturbances persisted for the at least six months this six months period must include at least one month of symptoms that made criteria as active phase of symptoms of the criteria a is active phase of symptoms we can characterize it as schizophrenia and may include periods of prodromal or residual symptoms at least two symptoms like hallucination delusions and disorganization of speech here the duration of psychotic illness the patient must have to continuous symptoms at least one month symptoms like active phase symptoms and at least two symptoms to be continued for example hallucination and delusion or disorganizing of speech here option b six months duration of psychotic illness to be categorized as a schizophrenia next we will move on to question number 27 behavior therapy is indicated in what is behavior therapy behavior therapy is indicated from the options indications we will see here option option a mania option b bipolar disorder option c ocd obsessive compulsive disorder option d schizophrenia here what is the behavior therapy we have to know behavioral therapy is an umbrella term for types of therapy that treat mental health disorders this form of therapy looks to identify and help change potentially self destructive or unhealthy behaviors now we will see the options option a mania mania is a extremely elevated and excitable mood usually associated with bipolar disorder this is one of the mood disorder mania is extremely elevated and excitability mood usually associated with bipolar disorder next we will see option b bipolar disorder bipolar disorder causes extreme mood swings that include emotional highs for example mania or hypomania or depression this comes under bipolar disorder ocd obsessive compulsive option c knows we will see ocd obsessive compulsive disorder obsessive compulsive disorder excessive thoughts that lead to repetitive behaviors obsessive compulsive disorder is characterized by unreasonable thoughts and fears that lead to compulsive behaviors here we can we can treat the obsessive compulsive disorder through the behavior therapy so behavior therapy is indicated for the obsessive compulsive disorder here option c is the correct answer what is schizophrenia we have to know schizophrenia is a disorder that affects person ability to think feel and behave correct clearly and correctly this is schizophrenia 
नेक्स्ट वी विल मूव ऑन टू कंटिन्यूस क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी एट वर्बेटिम मीन वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ वर्बेटिम ऑप्शन ऑप्शन ए पास्ट हिस्ट्री ऑप्शन बी वर्ड बै वर्ड वर्ड क्लैंट से ऑप्शन सी चाइलडुड हिस्ट्री ऑप्शन डी फैमिली हिस्ट्री वाट इज वर्बटिम वर्बटिम ईज ए एग्जाक्टली ऐज इट वॉज स्पोकन आर् रिटन मीन हियर वन पर्सन ईज एग्जाक्टली ऐज इट वॉज स्पोकन आर् समथिंग दे रिटन बै ओन वर्बटिम मीन दिस थिंग वी विल सी हियर ऑप्शन फास्ट हिस्ट्री इज नॉट कम्स अंडर एग्जाक्टली स्पोकन आर् रिटन थिंग्स ऑप्शन बी वर्ड बै वर्ड वर्ड क्लैंट से हियर ऑप्शन बी इज द करेक्ट आंसर वर्बटिन मीन्स वर्ड फॉर वर्ड इन एक्जैक्टली द सेम वर्ड्स बै क्लैंट बीइंग और फॉलोइंग द एक्जैक्ट वर्ड्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल फॉर दि वर्बटिन इज I think there is too many cars on the roads. The word by word same client have to say correctly is verbatim. Example listen here clearly friends. I think there is too many cars on the road. The word patient have to tell word by word patient saying continuously this is verbatim. Next question question number twenty nine. Paranoid personality. What is paranoid personality? You will see here options. Option A, suspicious. Option B, enjoys of life. Option C, sympathetic. Option D, timid. Here we have to know what is paranoid personality. PPD. Paranoid personality is a mental health condition marked by a long term pattern of distrust and suspicion of others without adequate reason to be suspicious so here we got a answer paranoid personality disorder is a suspicious option a is the correct answer but we will discuss other options also enjoys of life enjoys of life means help you have a more view of reality and enjoying your life in your mood enjoy of life means this one next sympathetic sympathetic means showing that you understand other people's feelings and especially problem so here sympathetic means we are understanding the other people's problems also that is the sympathetic timid what is timid timid means feeling or showing a lack of courage or self confidence means we are having lack of or low courage of self confidence also here option a suspicious paranoid personality is a disorder of suspicious next we will move on to question number 30 the complications of anorexia nervosa we will see here options option a amenorrhea option b dental caries option c dehydration option d none of the above here what is anorexia nervosa anorexia nervosa is an eating disorder characterized by an abnormally low body weight and intense fear of gaining of weight anorexia nervosa is a disorder of eating disorder characterized by abnormally low body weight and intense fear of gaining weight here we will see options amenorrhea dental caries dehydration and none of the above amenorrhea amenorrhea means absence of menstruals next dental caries dental caries means permanently damaged areas in the teeth that develops a tiny holes in the dental area next dehydration dehydration is a dangerous loss of fluids body fluids caused by illness sweatings or inadequate intake of fluids here option d none of the above so we will discuss complications of anorexia nervosa first anorexia nervosa complications like anemia heart problems bone loss and increased risk of fractures loss of muscle in females absence of periods here amenorrhea is absence of fear we got a answer option a the complication of anorexia nervosa in males decreased testosterone also we can see due to the anorexia nervosa gi problems like constipation bloating or nausea we can see the gi problems also here complication of anorexia nervosa is option a 
amenorrhea next we will move on to question number 31 the condition in which the person does not react to his surroundings and appears to be unaware of them the condition the person does not react to his surroundings and appears he is not aware of them we will see here option option a vaxi flexibility option b posturing option c mutism option d stupor we will see options in detail about all things vaxi flexibility vaxi flexibility refers to the state in which a patient limbs and joints remain in a certain position but it emphasizes the slow release of stiffness as if their limbs are made is vax means the vaxi flexibility means the state of patient's limbs joints remain certain position means for example in vaxi flexibility we can see in catatonic schizophrenia next we will see posturing option b posturing posturing speech or action that is critical calculated to mislead for example posturing is kyphosis scoliosis and lordosis these are the conditions related to the posturing next what is mutism 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 is an inability or unwillingness to speak resulting in the absence of verbal output symptoms seen in various disorders including psychological condition as well as medical disorder also for example mutism condition is anxiety disorder next option d stupor stupor is an excessively deep state of unresponsiveness example someone who is in a stupor is almost unconscious and it unable to act or think normal especially as a result of drink or drugs for example disorders like drug overload and stroke lack of oxygen and meningitis so here the condition in which the person does not react his surroundings and appears unaware of them is option d stupor is the correct answer here next we will move on to question number 32 what is autism autism is a we will see here option option a neurodevelopmental disorder option b language and social communication problem option c metabolic disease option d due to hypothalamus damage what is autism autism is a spectrum disorder autism that impairs that ability to communicate and interact means autism spectrum disorder impacts the nervous system and affects the overall cognitive emotional social and physical health of the affected individuals increasing evidence suggest that the autism spectrum disorder may be associated with inborn errors of metabolism so here metabolic disease option c is the correct answer for example autism in young children avoiding eye contact they will avoid eye contact and intellectual disabilities also we can see in the patients those who are having autism what is neurodevelopmental disorder we will see all are the options neurodevelopmental disorders children include attention deficit hyperactive disorders and learning ability disabilities and intellectual disabilities cerebral palsy and conduct disorders and impairment in vision and hearing these are the concerns under the neurodevelopmental disorders next option b language and social communication problem social communication disorder is a characterized by persistent difficulties with the use of verbal and nonverbal language for social purpose this is not a autism this is different from the autism next option c metabolic disease autism is a spectrum disorder related to the inborn errors of metabolism associated with the inborn errors of metabolism here option c is the correct answer here option d due to hypothalamus damage due to the hypothalamus damage may cause disruptions in body temperature growth weight and emotions and also sleep cycle here related to the due to hypothalamus damage will happen disruption of body temperature growth and weight loss and emotion signs sleep cycle disturbances next here 
द एटिजम इज ए मेटाबॉलिक डिसीज नेक्स्ट वील मूव ऑन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी थ्री विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर इज नाउन टू बी एसोसिएटेड विथ स्लीप मूड एंड एपेटाइट हियर न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर्स और इज नाउन टू बी एसोसिएटेड विथ स्लीप मूड एंड एपेटाइट वी विल सी हियर ऑप्शन ऑप्शन ए जी ए बी ए गाबा ऑप्शन बी एसिटाइलकोलाइन ऑप्शन सी डोपामाइन ऑप्शन डी सेरोटोनिन वन बाय वन ऑल ऑप्शन वी विल डिस्कस इन डिटेल अबाउट दिज ऑल और थिंग्स फर्स्ट वी विल सी जी ए बी ए गाबा वॉट इज जी ए बी ए गामा अमाइनो ब्यूटोरिक एसिड जी ए बी ए मीन्स गामा अमाइनो ब्यूटोरिक एसिड इट इज ए प्राइमरी इनहिबिटरी न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर इन द ब्रेन मेजर इनहिबिटरी न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर इन स्पाइनल कॉर्ड द मेजर इनहिबिटरी न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर इज प्रजेंट इन स्पाइनल कॉर्ड द इंसुलिन प्रोड्यूसिंग बीटा सेल्स ऑफ पैंक्रिया प्रोड्यूज गाबा गाबा विल प्रोड्यूज फ्रॉम द beta cells of the pancreas so here goba is not included in related to the neurotransmitter related to association of sleep mood and appetite here one more thing i have to add gaba is an amino acid that functions as primary inhibitory neurotransmitter for the central nervous system next option b acetylcholine what is acetylcholine acetylcholine is an numerous physiological functions such as regulating cardiac contraction and blood pressure intestinal peristalsis and granular secretions these are the functions the acetylcholine will do acetylcholine is an organic compound it is a numerous physiological function such as regulating cardiac contractions and blood pressure intestinal peristalsis and granular secretions and etc what is dopamine dopamine is a neuro modulatory molecule that plays several important role in cells dopamine is responsible for allowing to feel pleasure satisfaction and motivation these all are the things included into the dopamine for example dopamine when you feel good that you have achieved something it because you you have a such to the dopamine in the brain so option a gaba option b acetylcholine option c dopamine is not applicable here neurotransmitter associated with sleep mood and appetite next we will see option d serotonin serotonin plays a key role in such body functions as mood sleep digestion nausea wound healing bone health and blood clotting and also sexual desire so serotonin levels are reduced in depression condition here serotonin is a chemical that carries messages between the nerve cells in the brain throughout the body so here the neurotransmitter is known to be associated with sleep mood and appetite is option d serotonin next we will move on to question number 34 alfred binet this is not altered friends alfred a l f r e d alfred binet is associated with which test alfred binet is a psychologist friends alfred binet is a french psychologist played dominant role in the development of experimental psychology we will see options option a personality testing option b aptitude test option c intelligence test option d value testing here personality testing personality testing person motivations preferences interest and emotional makeup related to these all things we can do in the personality testing here aptitude test aptitude test is an assessment used to determine a candidate's cognitive ability and personality development this is aptitude test we will see option c intelligence test intelligence test is nothing but alfred binet test introduced alfred binet in published as the simon binet in 1905 1905 the 
first tool for the assessment of intelligence was aimed to detect and support children with special needs the items included in the test battery reflected age appropriate intellectual ability so here intelligence testing alfred binet test means intelligence testing option c is the correct answer what is value testing value testing is on of popular software testing mechanism based on boundary of values so here alfred binet test is intelligence test next move on to question number 35 which of the following nurses advice is most important for a patient who takes lithium for manic episodes has been walking daily here patient is having manic episodes he is taking a lithium medicines the nurse important role is the patient is having manic episodes patient is taking of lithium and that patient is also walking daily here we will see options option a stop walking option b stay along with the client when she walks option c continue exercise because toxicity rare option d need to maintain her hydration to avoid lithium toxicity what is lithium we have to know lithium is a mood stabilizer lithium is used to treat or control manic episodes of bipolar disorder lithium toxicity includes nausea vomiting tremors ataxia dysarthria and dizziness altered level of consciousness and dry mouth increased thirst and also we can see in ecg changes like bradycardia and hot black and etc the nurse should advise a client who takes lithium for manic episodes to maintain her hydration to avoid lithium toxicity lithium is generally safe to take for a long time most people take it for years with no problems recovery rate is high so here the nurse advice is most important for patient who take lithium in manic episodes she will need to maintain her hydration to avoid lithium toxicity here she have to educate the patient regarding hydration next we will move on to question number 36 when a person has a iq of 140 above will be called as the iq of 140 above will be called as from the options intellectual question iq means intellectual question we will see here option option a genius option b superior option c moron option d none of the above here the intellectual question of person is given by the formula as intellectual question equal to MA by CA into 100. MA means mental age divided by CA means chronological age into 100. Here the IQ score 130 and above is extremely high. 120 to 129 is very high. 110 to 119 high average and 90 to 109 is average. and 80 to 89 is low average 70 to 79 is very low 69 and below is extremely low here the intellectual question of 140 above will be called as genius option a is the correct answer here next we will move on to question number 37 what is the meaning of written of symptoms what is the meaning of written of symptoms we will see here options option a remission option b relaxation option training option c relapse option d none of the above what is remission relaxation training what is relapse we have to know first we will remission option a remission means decrease in or disappearance of signs of symptoms of condition means in remission the condition will decreases the rate or disappearance of symptoms symptoms in the particular condition for example cancer here remission is not written of symptoms what option b relaxation training relaxation training focuses on becoming aware of tension with the mind and body 
here the relaxation training focuses on becoming aware of tension with in the body and mind means this is not comes under the return of symptoms return of symptoms means patient will having return symptoms means patient is having some of the symptoms related to the disease and they will be repeat the same symptoms after the few periods of time next we will see option c relapse relapse is a recurrence of symptoms of a disease after a period of improvement so here the meaning of return of symptoms is relapse option c is the correct answer for example for the relapse the recurrence of symptoms of disease after a period of improvement example is multiple sclerosis malaria schizophrenia hallucinations and insomnia these all are the conditions we can see the returning of symptoms once illness recurrence occurs symptom severity rapidly returns to level similar to the initial psychotic episodes this is called as episodes of returning of symptoms next we will move on to question number 38 to further assess a client suicidal potential nurse maitri should be especially alert to the client expressions of patient is having suicidal potential for assessing the client is suicidal potential the nurse maitri should be especially alert related to the expressions of the patients we will see here options option a anxiety and loneliness option b frustration option c anger option d hopelessness and helplessness anxiety and loneliness patient is having anxiety related to the condition and patient is having some of the loneliness also next frustration frustration also patient is having some of the condition related to the fear of the death or fear of the illness related to the mental condition and anger patient is having some of the condition and Ang angry also means patient is feel angry but here patient is assessing client suicidal potential means they will feel hopeless and and helplessness what is hopeless and helpless we will discuss now hopelessness is the feeling that nothing can be done by anyone to make situation better this is hopelessness helplessness helplessness means is the feeling that they themselves have no power to improve their situation this is helplessness for example for the hopelessness is i have no future otherwise they will feel i have no hope this is hopelessness helplessness for example helplessness poor performance at work or school even putting a lot of effort can lead to a feeling of learned helplessness this is example for helplessness to further assess a client suicidal potential nurse maitri should be especially alert to the client expression is hopelessness and helplessness option d is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 39 the drug of choice for rapid cycling pdp is drug of choice for rapid cycling pdp pdp means prescription doctor plan rapid cycling prescription doctor plan drug drug of choice we will see here options option a haloperidol option b sodium vaporate option c carbamazepine option d lithium here in this option a haloperidol haloperidol is a first generation of antipsychotic drugs we already discussed regarding haloperidol in detail about question number 6 part 1 psychiatric nursing in previous video next we will see option b sodium vaporate sodium vaporate is an epilepsy drug prescribed for all seizure types included options myoclonus and tonic and clonic seizures this is not a drug of choice for rapid cycling pdp next option c carbamazepine carbamazepine is used to manage and treatment of epilepsy trigeminal neuralgia and acute manic episodes and mixed episodes of bipolar 1 disorder this is carbamazepine is used to treat a 
epilepsy and trigeminal neuralgia and acute manic episodes and mixed episodes of bipolar disorder so here option c carbamazepine is a correct answer rapid cycling of prescription doctor plan all through controlled trials have demonstrated the efficiency of carbamazepine for the treatment of rapid cycling bipolar disorder a correct answer here option c carbamazepine drug of choice for rapid cycling pdp carbamazepine what is lithium lithium option d lithium we already discussed in in this video only 35 question lithium we already discussed next we will move on to question number 40 a client is unable to get out of bed and get dressed unless the nurse promotes every step this is an example for which behavior the client is unable to get out of bed and get dressed unless the nurse promotes every steps the example of behavior from the options option a preservation option b tangential option c evaluation option d word salad see here option a preservation Preservation is the continuation or recurrence of an experience or activity without the appropriate stimulus. This is called as preservation. For example, therapist asked to draw a cat, then several other objects, but continues to draw a cat each time. This is repetitive behavior. It is called as preservation. Option B, tangential. Tangential is different form are not directly connected with the one you are talking about or doing. Means this is indirect thing. Not direct thing. It is different from what they are doing and what they are thinking. It is different thing in indirecting action. For example, when a therapist poses the question, how was your week? The person will respond with, when I was 5 years, my cat was killed. So, this is totally indirect action. Next, what is option C? Evaluation. Evaluation is a total lack of motivation that makes it hard to get anything done. You cannot start or finish even simple everyday task or activity. So, here in this question, client is unable to get out of bed and get dressed unless the nurse promotes every step is example behavior. Evaluation option C is the correct answer here. Example for the evaluation, inability to care, personal hygiene or participation in work. This is evaluation. Next, what is option D? Word salad. Word salad is a jumble of extremely incoherent speech as sometimes observed in a schizophrenia has seen been used patients suffering from other kinds of dementia such as Alzheimer's also we can see in word salad. Here option C is evaluation is the correct answer. Next we will move on to question number 41. The following is the example for the defense mechanism. From the following option which is the defense mechanism example we will see here options option a anger option b laughing option c projection option d none of the above anger means provocation or hurt or threat also known as wrath or rag it is a intense emotional state of involving strong uncomfortable and non-cooperative response to the perceived this is not a defense mechanism. Next option B, laughing. Laughing is an emotion with a explosive vocal sound. This is not a defense mechanism. Next option C, projection option D, none of the above. So here option C, projection is the defense mechanism. Projection is the mental process by which people attribute the others what is in their own minds. So, for example, for the projection and defense mechanism, a person who is having an affair may accuse their partner of indefinitely. He protects himself, life and this is called as defense mechanism. This is called as projection. So, here option C is the correct answer. Next, we will move on to question number 42. Which symptoms are usually referred as walkies and talkies? 
which symptoms are usually referred to as walkies and talkies what is walkie talkies a small radio held in hand used for both sending and receiving messages this is a walkies and talkies we will see here options option a dystonia option b neuroleptic malignant syndrome option c akathisia option d tardive dyskinesia here we already discussed option a dystonia and option c akathisia in psychiatric terms in the first of this video before shutting up faq we already discussed but here shortly we will discuss what all this thing dystonia dystonia is involuntary muscle contraction that cause repetitive twisting of movements next neuroleptic malignant syndrome neuroleptic malignant syndrome is a life threatening neurological emergency associated with use of antipsychotic agents characterized by fever altered mental status muscle rigidity and autonomic dysfunction also we can see in the neuroleptic malignant syndrome option c what is akathisia akathisia is an inability to remain still or subject of antipsychotic drugs and antidepressant medication for example for akathisia patient with an complaint of restlessness and compulsion so here akathisia is a correct answer here akathisia usually preferred as walkie talkies and here akathisia means the inability to remain still here option d third time dyskinesia involuntary movements of the tongue lips face trunk and extremities long term use of neuroleptic and psychotic drugs are the causes for the dyskinesia here the which symptoms are usually referred as walkie talkies here option c akathisia is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 43 a mental disorder characterized by stereotype speech a mental disorder characterized by stereotype speech is we will see here options option a negativism option b mannerism option c cataplexy options d barbigration here what is negativism negativism is a behavior that is opposite of that suggested by others means the negativism is behavior that opposite side that suggested by the others this is not a stereotype speech here option b mannerism mannerism is a somebody's particular way of speaking or particular movement he or she often does for example for the mannerism pointing of fingers and also some of the cases somebody will do rubbing nose also next option c cataplexy cataplexy is characterized by episodes of voluntary muscle weakness precipitated emotions for example for the cataplexy is eyebrows might droops here option d barbigration barbigration is obsessive repetition of random words it is similar to preservation but it is person repeats words without a stimulation of barbigration means the obsessive repetition of random words the repetition of the words is there in verbigration here stereotype speech stereotype speech means persistent mechanical repetition of speech or movement sometimes occurring the schizophrenia autism and mental disorders so here stereotype speech is verbigration option d is the correct answer here next we will move on to question number 44 A neuromuscular blocking agents is administered to a client before ECT. The nurse should carefully observe the client for for the ECT we are shifting a patient before the ECT procedure the neuromuscular blockers agent administered to a client for the client nurse have to observe carefully which of the following options option a seizures option b dizziness option c respiratory difficulties option d nausea and vomiting the neuromuscular blocking agents what is the meaning of neuromuscular blocking agents 
neuromuscular blocking agents used for reduce the muscle contraction without inducing complete paralysis means in the ect the neuromuscular blocking agents are used to reduces the muscle contraction without inducing the complete paralysis because of the short duration of ect succinylcholine the drug of neuromuscular blocking agent is succinylcholine is the drug of choice for the neuromuscular blockage succinylcholine is a depolarizing neuromuscular blocker with an ultra short duration of action slightly less than that of the neuromuscular agent for the anesthetic agent so here the during the ect patient may have lack of oxygen levels which makes difficulty for patient to breathing a pulse oximetry is placed in patient finger and nurse have to monitor patient closely regarding oxygen levels of the patient to observe the respiratory difficulties during the ect procedure then after the ect procedure nurse have to keep a patient in sideline position after the ect to improve the breathing difficulties so here the neuromuscular blocking agent administered to the client nurse have to assess carefully the respiratory difficulties option c is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 45 which information is most important for the nurse to include in teaching plan for a schizophrenic client taking clozapine means the patient is having schizophrenia and he is taking the medication of clozapine the nurse have to educate and give information related to the patient which of the following option a stop the medication option b blood pressure must be monitored for hypertension option c report immediately symptoms of sore throat and fever option d blood test will be necessary clozapine is used to treat the symptoms of schizophrenia and clozapine reduces the dopamine activity where it is too high helping with symptoms like hallucinations nurse should intervene immediately if patient is having experiences of sore throat fever malaise when taking a typical antipsychotic drugs like clozapine or clozaril must nurse have to must immediately report symptoms of flu like because we have to reduce the infection rate here the nurse have to teach regarding schizophrenic client taking clonazepam report a sore throat or fever to the physician immediately so here option c is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 46 revised name of the multiple personality is here what is the revised name of the multiple personality is we will see here options option a ocd obsessive compulsive disorder option b did dissociative identify disorder option c mdp manic depressive psychosis option d none of the above ocd we will see here options option a ocd obsessive compulsive disorder characterized by unreasonable thoughts and fears that lead to comprehensive behavior of the client here option b we will see here dissociated identified disorder dissociative identified disorder was previously referred as a multiple personality disorder so here revised name of the multiple personality disorder is option b dissociated identified disorder here people with dissociated identified disorder have two or more separate personalities characterized by switching to the alternative identifies next option c mdp manic depressive psychosis what is manic depressive psychosis manic depressive psychosis is also known as bipolar disorder who have depression at times and manic at others it is called as manic depressive psychosis who is having depression at time and many others are is called as depressive psychosis have example for the 
मैनिक डिप्रेसिव साइकोसिस फॉल्स बिहेवियर ऑप्शन हेयर ऑप्शन बी डी आई डी डिसोसिएटेड आइडेंटिफाइड डिजॉर्डर इज रिवाइज नेम फॉर द मल्टीपल पर्सनैलिटी डिजॉर्डर नेक्स्ट वील मूव ऑन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी सेवन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज द वाइडली यूज क्लासिकल कंडीशनिंग मेथड फॉर फॉर ट्रीटिंग नेक्चरनल एन्यूरोसिस वी विल सी हियर ऑप्शन ऑप्शन ए बेल एंड विजिल टेक्निक ऑप्शन बी अलार्म सिस्टम टेक्निक ऑप्शन सी बेल एंड बैटरी टेक्निक ऑप्शन डी नन ऑफ दि हेबो वट इज नेशनल एंड न्यूरोसिस नथिंग बट बेड वेटिंग द बेड वेटिंग इज ए कॉल्ड एज नेचुरल एंड न्यूरोसिस द कंडीशन मेथड फॉर ट्रीटिंग नेचुरल एंड न्यूरोसिस इज ऑप्शन सी बेल एंड बैटरी टेक्निक द मेथड कंसिस्ट ऑफ ए डिवाइस kids wear at night that has a sensor hanging noise when it becomes wet and ideally waking up the child in the for him stop the stream and go to the bathroom so here we can control the bed wetting through the bell and battery टेक्निक हियर ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर नेक्स्ट वी विल मूव ऑन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी एट विच ऑफ दि फॉलोइंग असेसमेंट इज यूज टू कन्फर्म आलोहॉल इन टेक फ्रॉम दि ऑप्शन विच ऑफ दि असेसमेंट इज डन टू कन्फर्म पेशेंट इज आलोहॉल इन टेक वी विल सी हियर ऑप्शन ऑप्शन ए सीरम सैंपल ऑप्शन बी स्फूटम सैंपल ऑप्शन सी प्यूपल डायलिटेशन एंड ऑप्शन डी आल आफ दि एबो The screening test for the alcohol assessment is alcohol use disorder identification test (ADIT). Nothing but ADIT. It is screening test for the alcohol use disorders identification test (AUDIT). The blood alcohol levels is can be identified through the assessment used for confirmation of alcohol intake here option a serum sample is the correct answer we can identify the alcohol intake through the three methods main methods is three those are breath breath analyzer test and blood test and urine test blood alcohol levels we can identify through the serum sample and also less commonly we can identify the alcohol intake for confirmation for the hair and saliva analysis can be used to assess patient for the possible alcohol and other drug usage also we can identify through the these all or things but here the following options is serum sample is assessment is used to confirm the patient alcohol intake here option a is the correct answer next we'll move on to question number 49 a client is experiencing anxiety attack the most appropriate nursing intervention should includes options option a leave the client alone option b ask patient to play with other clients option c stay with patient and speaking in short sentence option d ask repeated questions the, the client is having anxiety attack the nursing intervention should includes from the options a appropriate nursing intervention for anxiety attack include using a short sentence staying with client and decreasing stimuli and remaining calm and other hand the medication should be administered if needed so here option c stay with patient and speaking in short sentence is the nursing intervention for the patient is experiencing anxiety attack so here the nurse had to assure the client safety and try relaxation of techniques and through the staying with client and speaking the short sentence to reduce the anxiety levels in the patient so here option c is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 50 next move on to question number 50 this is the last question in this video next further question we will discuss in part 3 the voltage needed to produce scissors while giving ect is how much voltage needed to produce scissors in the ect we will see here options option is 72 90 volts option b 182 220 volts option c 40 to 60 volts option d 
हंड्रेड टू वन सिक्सटी वोल्ट टिपिकली सेवेंटी टू वन ट्वेंटी वोल्ट और अप्लाइड एक्सटर्नली टू दि पेशेंट्स हेड रिजल्टिंग इन अप्रोक्सीमेटली एट हंड्रेड मिली पेर्स ऑफ डायरेक्ट करेंट पासिंग बिटवीन दि एलेक्ट्रोड्स फॉर ये ड्यूरेशन ऑफ हंड्रेड मिली सेकेंड्स टू सिक्स सेकेंड्स इधर फ्रॉम टेम्पल टू टेम्पल इज बायोलेट्रलिसिटी आर फ्रंट टू बैक ऑफ वन साइड ऑफ द हेड इज यूनिलेट्रल इसिटी मशीन विच जनरेट्स वोल्टेज बिटवीन नाइंटी टू वन सिक्सटी वोल्ट फॉर ए कॉन्स्टेंट प्रजेंट टाइम बिटवीन जीरो पॉइंट थ्री टू वन सेकेंड सो हियर द नॉर्मल वोल्टेज इज सिटी इज सेवेंटी टू वन ट्वेंटी वोल्टेज आर अप्लाइड एक्सटर्नली टू द पेशेंट हेड बट इन केस ऑफ प्रोड्यूसिंग द सीजर्स वाइल गिविंग ई सी टी ईर वी हैव टू गिव ए वन फिफ्टी टू वन एटी वोल्टेज हियर एक्चुअली नाइंटी टू वन सिक्सटी वोल्टेज इज द करेक्ट आंसर बट हियर इन ऑप्शन नाइंटी टू वन सिक्सटी वोल्टेज इज द नियर बाय द नाइंटी टू वन सिक्सटी वोल्टेज इज हियर ऑप्शन डी इज देर सो हियर ऑप्शन डी इज द करेक्ट आंसर दिस इज लास्ट क्वेश्चन इन this video next we will continue further questions from the 51 to further question in part 3 video this is part 2 mental health and psychiatric nursing we discussed psychiatric terms and 30 faqs important questions in this video thank you so much for watching my video please anybody watching first time my channel please subscribe my channel click on the bell icon for further notification please like a video and please subscribe my channel please share the video to your friends and please give a comment in comment section stay tuned friends